Okay, so let us continue with uh, chapter 6 here, and you're probably wondering why I'm back here at the uh, Hans Bar. It's actually because uh, that secret weapon that um, we were told about is actually right here. I actually skipped by it in the last part. So what we gotta do is just do a few wall runs here, and it's just right up there. It might take a few odd tries to get. So let's see how many times this will take us to get. Oh, come on. Come on, Ryu. As I say, third time's the charm, lad. No, on the wall, lad. On the wall. And... Oh, not so much. Right. Three, two, one. Ah, come on, will you? Yeah. Yeah, it's just... Uh, it's an awkward little uh, jump to go to. And... Nope. Not so much. Right. Let's do this again. There we go. Windmill Shuriken. I don't know, what's this thing? You've seen this symbol before, your body feels charged with energy. Oh, it's a Team Ninja symbol. And I suppose, judging from what that says, it looks like that charges your health. Your energy. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool little Easter egg now, I must say. Yeah, I kind of did look up the location of the secret weapon. Just to see how well hidden in the chapter it is. So, yeah, not so well hidden, really. Um, once you know where to go. Um, I feel like a dumbass for not even knowing that. Again, it's been ages since i played this game. So, I might as well show it in the recording where to get it. Actually, you know what? We'll actually go ahead and we'll equip that. We've our armlet of the sun equipped. And there's our windmill shuriken. Oh, I like that. It's like a boomerang. Now that's going to be very handy for us. Oh, so much for the welcoming committee. Again, that, that move is just so good against these guys. Right, let's move on. So much for the welcoming committee. Oh, looks like... Oh, we got a... Wall run, maybe. What we got? Elixir of Spiritual Life. So we got four of them. And we have the Talisman of Rebirth as well, but... Kind of don't want to use that, you know, once um, you know, I'm against normal enemies. I'd rather have that for, like, if I was having trouble with a boss. So now we beat ninjas, which, to be fair, they're a bit annoying. The main thing that's annoying about them is their um, explosive shuriken. Because once they stick to you, you, you know, you have no way of getting out of it. Let's look, look at me, look at that. It's like, come on, die. You give me health, lovely. Right, he gave me health. Oh, ta well, I did use one uh, elixir there, but. Ah, uh, well, I'll get more once I stop by that uh, shop, anyway. What's this? The door is locked. On the lock, there is a Pegasus symbol. Alright, no problem. I've just got to get a key for that. Oh, I hear motorbikes. Use our new toy on these. Come on, lads. So I kind of have a bit of a tactic uh, with these guys. It's really just to attack them um, once they stop. Once they, you know, skid like that. That's when you get a hit on them. This guy kind of learned that when, um, you know, before I went on to get the um, that windmill shuriken. Uh, I had to deal with the uh, motorbike enemies again. And so, you know, just to get them out of the way before I start the recording. And there we go. And it didn't take too long now. Especially that windmill shuriken. That is actually mad handy. Right. What have we got now? More guys. And we got a guy with a grenade launcher. Stop it. Knock it off. See, I couldn't even move there. It's like, they're absolutely spamming bullets at me. You die. 
You die. That's health. Give me that health. Love Uh oh, chest. And we got key of Pegasus. Oh, you need that for the Pegasus door. And oh, it's a gold scarab there. Definitely do want that. Uh, I say that brings up to five, I think. Right. Let's move on. And let's go to this uh, Pegasus door. Right. Don't step. That was a safe point there, but no, nah, it's too early in the recording to um, you know, use it. Whoa! Motherfucker. I cannot get a break from you lads at all. Oh, thank God for that health. Oh, I got both of them down there. Right. Thank you for that. Oh, they weren't so bad anyway. Seem to always have trouble with them ninjas though. It's mainly their like explosive shuriken. Right. Oh, this lowers that bridge. Yeah. Fair enough. And right, to the bridge we go. God, look at all that blood. I like it. <laughs> right. Drawbridge square. There goes the fan on my PS3 again. If you hear that in the background, I apologize. A very loud fan on them PS3s. Especially, you know, the original ones. Got a bunch of arrows. I was actually low on arrows, but thank you very much. Alright, Drawbridge Hill. Anything we can get. Oh, there's a save point there. Again, a bit early to go for a save. Morning. Well, it is Ninja Gaiden. You know... <laughs> Oh, you jammy bastard. Have to use them because I really don't want to use the task and the rebirth on these guys. You know what? Fuck it. Nimpo him. Both is alright to use um, for, you know, up against, you know, multiple enemies. But again, I prefer to use them, you know, when you're up against, like, Bigger enemies are like bosses. We got a gold scarab there, which is nice. Find a lot of these in this chapter. Elixir, I will take that. I do need that. Two of them. And Anton here. No, nothing. Okay, let's go back. Hopefully, we don't have to deal with ninjas again. Ah. Uh, that armlet of the sun, like, it's supposed to uh, increase your attack, but don't really see that much of a major difference, to be honest with you. There's a, a safe one. Oh, it's another golden scarab. Lovely, that's uh, that's three we got. I only I only thought there was going to be um, one in the chapter. Well, we can't open that. Well, this looks familiar, actually. Oh, we were here with Rachel in the, um, the last chapter. And there is a shop there. Lovely stuff. Hmm. Yes, you found your scarabs. Armlet of uh, Potency. wonder what that does. Uh, shop. I will actually buy... Only can only get two. Um, actually, what's that armlet of uh, Potency? It increases the damage done by kick and throw techniques. Uh, you know, I'll keep the one I got, you know, because I mostly use me blades. Right. You're dead. And so are you with the grenade launcher. Ha! Huh. Just jabbed him like crazy. How are you not dead? You got multiple jabs in the gut. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Doors locked and cannot be opened from this side. Typical. 
Right. Um, what was I looking for again? Actually, my Ninpo. Uh, might keep the, the Ninpo that I got. Do you want to put this on, actually? Whoa! Oh, God. Not ye again. I have to use one. Hopefully I can get like an upgrade for like the um you know the two swords. As we got a bit of help back. Oh my god, I did not see him at all. Fuck you. Jabby jabby. And you're dead. Did not see him at all. Right, what have we got in here? Great spirit elixir. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Right. Again with these guys. These guys are just getting on my nerves out. Oh my god, lads, please fuck off. You better give me health. Because you're dead. Lovely. Right. So I guess really the tip I'll give you for, you know, when you get the explosive shirt and stuff to you is um, just really block and you'll get as, you know, lower damage than, you know, not blocking. You know, and which if you kind of think about it, you know, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> as I'm going the right way, am I? I think so. Monster inner clearing. Oh, terrific. Oh, wait. I can use my new toy. Oh, this thing is just so handy now. Ha! <laughs> Got both of them off. Look at that. That's just so cool. That windmill shuriken. That was... Right, that was well worth getting. If you ask me now. Oh, I got to do it. I'm off again. Yeah, I like this. Well, what's going on now? Oh, shit. That is obviously a fiend. Uh, think you got the right idea, lad. Oh, no. You failed. Oh, shite. I've got to deal with this thing. Whoa. Or should I say things? There's fucking three of them. That one. The good thing I used the old um, Nimpo there. Actually, might use it again. Yeah, definitely for enemies like this, it's good to use the, the old Nimpo. Whoa, God. Gotta be really careful here. Good thing is, they don't really block you. They're like. Suppose we couldn't get him while he's uh, breathing fire. Oh, is that it? Or right, thank God for the Ninpo. Uh, the screen is white. Oh, thank God! I thought the game was stuck there for a sec. So what exactly are you? You're much more powerful than just a human. My strength comes from training, not from some curse in my blood. Are you so sure of that? Yes, I'm sure, bitch. <laughs> and Ryu, you're not looking at her eyes, aren't you? <laughs> Won't blame you, I'll be the same. He led her down the path of evil, and she succumbed. Fiends are pitiful beings, destined to live forever, slaves to the forces of evil. And there's only one way to release them. To kill them. That's why I became a hunter. To kill my sister. Damn. To kill Alma. Beneath this monastery, there is... Oh, shit. Tentacle. See enough hentai where this is going. <laughs> and she's gone. Uh, oh god, we gotta deal with this thing. Okay, not doing much damage to him. I'm gonna heal up. Right, suppose we gotta cut the tentacle off. Come on. 
Oh. There we go. Aha, now that's a lot of damage. No, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> yes, that's a lot of damage. Look at that. I right, get that health actually. No, that's enough. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, we are kicking this thing's ass. Oh god. Um, yeah, just for good measure. He up. Fucking hell. That's one. And we got the other. There was the one. There we go. Is it dead? There we go. It's down. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Oh, we got her out. Was that a fiend as well? I've never yeah. seen one like that before. Something strange. There's so many of them. That's a familiar looking thing. Oh, it's her. Ayane, running errands for Mirai again, I see. The boldness of the fiends is the work of the Dark Dragon. It is a cursed blade, bestowing an unfathomable strength on those wicked enough to wield it. As we speak, its power is growing. That would explain the stirring in my blood. Hmm. Blood. It dominates all humankind, assisted by the power of the fiends. Ayane, take care of Rachel. Understood. Ryu, I've heard there is a hidden path under the monastery that leads to the Emperor's palace. Doku will also be there. Oh yeah, he's ahead. The moment you say that, that's where he's gonna go. <laughs> This lad again. Gamma. Gamma. So the dark dragon grows in power with each killing. I assume that's Doku. Oh, there is no doubt, my excellency. Then I have arrived just in time. Yes, my excellency. As always, I provide you with only the most reliable information. The blade grows stronger and faster than I had expected. Alright, so I suppose that's the end of the chapter, is it? Yep. You can tell by that music, really. Alright, let's see how we got on. I doubt I did that good. Alright. Let's see how we do. Head Ninja. Okay, that's the second highest. Okay, that's not bad. Alright, chapter 7. The monastery. It is said that there is a secret path leading to the palace of Zarkon underneath the Dwarku monastery. Alright, so I'm gonna stop it here, I'm gonna save up, and in the next part we will start off chapter 7. So see you guys then.